So we are looking now for the race 26, which is the Open Women's Single Skulls. And we have uh, Lucy Spores from New Zealand against Imogen Grant uh, from the UK. So this is that late start, of course, we saw them earlier, and here they are finally allowed to get off. Um, we have that matchup, don't we, between two incredible Olympians. So much experience with one or with two oars, and Imogen, feisty as ever, is taking it to Lucy Spores. So that was uh, that was the start, and we've got Imogen Grant out to an early lead. We talked about her through this regatta, the composure, the athleticism of this young woman. She only started rowing in 2014. She can switch between sweep board and sculling. She's won Henley in the lightweight double, returning from her fourth place Tokyo um, Olympic appearance last year. And as we join the race live down the course, it looks like Imogen Grant has continued to have a small advantage over Lucy Spores, the older sculler um, from Tokyo, silver medalist in the Tokyo Women's Eight for New Zealand. Ever, as always, incredibly impressed by Imogen Grant, an athlete who will always bring her best. She loves racing. She's not phased by who she's racing. She knows this course now. She's done it in a single before. She's done it in a double and one. And she has dominated from the start against incredible competition from, yes, Olympic medalist Lucy Spores. Lucy Spores was at the under-23 Worlds. Uh, in 2014-2015 before Imogen had even picked up an oar. Um, she went to Bucks in 2015 within six months of rowing. She was in the D final uh, in that first and one beginner eight back in 2015 and hasn't looked back since. She's raced in the lightweight boat race, blondie boat race, the blue boat three times. One year she was in both lightweights and blondie uh, rowing at Henley uh, with a lightweight boat race and then blondie on the tideway. I mean, she has such incredible experience just since 2015 and she's not afraid if you were with us earlier you heard kath talking a little bit more about uh, imogen grant and the sort of personality of her own i'm interested to talk that about that with you a bit more kath you've thought hard about this you described her as somebody who brought sort of joy and confidence to pick a lightweight scholar and put her in the stroke seat of the boat race crew that suggests that there's something special here so just tell us a bit about the psychology uh, of, of rowing and what you think that uh, she brings. Yeah, so she was in the, the very impressive boat race winning crew for Cambridge this year with, of course, Grace Prendergast behind her. I mean, what, you know, so she's raced with uh, one of Lucy Spall's teammates um, from that crew in, in New Zealand and she's learning all the time and, you know, she's somebody who is not afraid to race. She has incredible capacity physiologically, but yeah, psychologically, she's not afraid. And I was, you know, she was in that unbelievable blanket finish in the Tokyo Olympics uh, where they missed out her and Emily Craig missed out by 0.01 seconds on on the medals but you know they had a great race they had a great Tokyo campaign the you know each race they, they did a, they broke the record I think in the semi-final and you know she came out of that some people would be crushed by that sort of experience you know that, that having come forth and you know some of the macho narrative that you get around that but not Imogen they had a fantastic race and what did they do they came to Henley and won the doubles event you know she's there learning improving staying humble challenging herself and you know always up to kind of go to the next level get to that next step and I think that's what we love about uh, about the sort of mentality often in rowing you never take a perfect stroke and you're just you're just learning out there and, you know all of the time you know you learn and you learn and when you win you learn and when you lose you learn and you know she's someone who is so talented in so many different ways I'll say she's been back at Cambridge finishing her a medicine finals this year and combining it you know again she sort of stopped for a while while she was finishing the racing going out to Ely doing a little bit of singling and you know she has a great Instagram feed that you know she lets everyone know what she's up to and you know on and off the water and you know despite being an Olympian didn't put her off going to the Bucks regatta this year racing in a scratch pair racing in a Cox for champs for uh, Coxless for she raced two two UK races less than 20 minutes apart. She just loves being out there. She loves the sport and she's a fantastic role model and ambassador for us. Well, great to hear a bit more of the story of young Imogen Grant, the joy that she brings to the sport and the joy that she gives all of us who are watching that kind of athleticism. One of the things I like about the way she sculls the single is it doesn't seem to matter what the weather is. It doesn't matter what the water's doing. It doesn't matter what the competitors are doing. She just sits on top of it all. She just kind of glides over uh, everything uh, with that lovely relaxed attitude. But 
There's great physiology there too. She's only yeah. a small athlete and look at her now, really able to compete with the world's best I mean, uh, heavyweights so, as well. Yeah, so efficient and you know, Lucy Spores uh, has been in part of this, you know, I know he's having huge fun rowing the double with Emma Twig. Of course, Emma Twig was just so desperately disappointed that she had to drop out because of uh, contracting COVID. Um, so, you know, I know she'll be cheering her on at the moment, saying, come on, Lucy. Emma Twig, of course, has won this event before. Um, but Lucy is, you know, out there battling in this in these incredible conditions that are challenging to, to all the single scholars. So welcome if you're watching us early morning in New Zealand. Unfortunately, you're seeing Lucy Spores um, trying to fight back, um, but it's a big wide gap that Imogen Grant has now opened up. Welcome to all of you watching us live all around the world. Got viewers, half our viewers, I think, come from all around the world, rowing fans everywhere, looking at some of the world's best athletes competing in every boat class, men and women from juniors through to our top internationals. We're seeing Olympians here. Uh, down the track in the Princess Royal Challenge Cup. Uh, this is the Open Women's Sculling Events, first run in 1993. And Imogen Grant is being applauded as she comes through the stewards' enclosure, packed full of former rowers, rowing fans, current rowers, people who've competed earlier stages of this regatta. And she's smiling, she's smiling, she's loving it. She's loving the shouts, lots of Cambridge shouts, lots of Great Britain shouts, lots of Imogen shouts. Uh, if ever there was going to be a giant killer, it is Imogen Grant, the lightweight. She was fourth in the double at the Olympic Games, taking on the heavyweight and Olympic silver medalist in the eight for uh, New Zealand. And, you know, as always, supreme. So this is the joy of rowing. This is the joy of Henley Regatta on Saturday, semi-final Saturday at Henley. Lucy Spores has challenged hard, but Imogen Grant with a display of class rowing the big smile cheers her competitor and in the princess royal imogen grant goes through to tomorrow to meet cara cola of the us for the final of the princess royal <laughs> 